to the nitro engine tuning segment of the Red Cat Racing Pit Stop how-to video series. I'm Matt LeMay, and in this segment, I'll show you how to properly tune your Red Cat Racing nitro engine. As we discuss tuning, we'll be using both big block and small block engines to help you better understand how to tune your engine to maximum engine life while maintaining performance. All two-stroke nitro engines tune the same way. However, there may be differences in the carburetor design. Some vehicles are equipped with rotary carburetors and some with slide carburetors. But they all use the same three adjustment screws, a high-speed needle, low-speed needle, and idle screw. Before we discuss how the adjustment screws affect performance, there are a couple terms you'll need to know. We'll be talking about rich mixture and lean mixture. Now this refers to the fuel to air ratio in your nitro engine. A nitro engine requires both nitro fuel and oxygen to create the explosion inside the combustion chamber. Now this explosion is what forces the piston down, rotating the crankshaft, resulting in horsepower. Now a perfect mixture is needed to get the strongest explosion while still allowing the oils in the fuel to lubricate the engine. Compared to a perfect mixture, a rich mixture has a higher fuel to air ratio and a lean mixture has a higher air to fuel ratio. So if the mixture is too rich, there's too much fuel. And if the mixture is too lean, there's not enough fuel. Because the oil is actually in the fuel, a lean mixture will not lubricate the engine. Let's discuss how the needles affect fuel flow. As fuel enters the engine, it first passes through the high-speed needle. This is all fuel at any speed. All fuel entering into the engine is governed by the high-speed needle. We can think of the high-speed needle as an overall needle. The low-speed needle, which is screwed into the throttle mechanism, further restricts fuel flow when the throttle is closed or partially open. That is why it's called the low-speed needle. You can see looking into the carburetor, when a throttle is open greater than one half throttle, the low-speed needle is pulled out of its seat, rendering it fully open and no longer restricting fuel flow. At this point, the only thing left to restrict fuel flow is the high-speed needle, as it governs all fuel at all speeds. Now that we have a basic understanding of how the adjustment needles work, we can begin tuning our engine. The first step in tuning your nitro engine is to set the high speed needle as this will also affect performance of your Red Cat racing vehicle at low speeds. Once the high speed needle is set, then we'll move on to the low speed needle and lastly, the idle speed. To set the high speed needle, Run the vehicle for three to seven minutes depending on the weather to get the engine up to optimal running temperature. Now, it's about 95 degrees outside today, so three minutes will probably be enough. What we're looking for with the high-speed needle is smooth, full throttle action. Don't worry about how the engine runs at low throttle, just full throttle. The optimal high-speed setting should run smooth, strong, and still leave a decent trail of smoke. If there is no smoke, there is no lubrication. This is bad. The engine needs lubrication to keep from cooking itself. Now, let's perform a basic sight and sound check. Is there plenty of smoke coming out of the exhaust? Listen to your engine. Is there a smooth high pitch whine or a low pitch gurgle? Does it sound rough? These are all indicators of how the engine is tuned. For example, a richly tuned engine will tend to have a lower pitch and may sputter or gurgle. Thick smoke will also be visible. Now a leanly tuned engine will tend to have a high pitch sound with little to no smoke and may quit suddenly. If the engine is running rich with a lot of smoke and low pitch sound, tighten the high speed needle one eighth of a turn and run it at full throttle for 30 seconds or so. 
only turn the needles in eighth inch turn intervals as this will keep you from overtuning. Now, if it is still showing the same symptoms, turn a high speed needle another eighth of a turn and rerun at full throttle. Continue this step until the engine is running smooth, strong, and sounds good. Once we've achieved the most power possible, loosen the high speed needle an eighth of a turn. This should give you the optimal setting. Now conduct a quick smoke check, and if there is plenty of smoke coming out of the exhaust, your Red Cat racing vehicle is ready to have low speed needle adjustment. It's always best to run your engine a little rich. Sure, th this isn't the extreme point of power, but it will continue to start and run every time you want to race or bash. And remember, running an engine too lean will drastically shorten its lifespan. Quick note, if the engine is running very lean to the point where there is no smoke, high pitch whine, and stalls, loosen the high speed needle a quarter of a turn. I know I said only adjust eight turn intervals, but in this instance, loosen it a quarter of a turn because you can damage your motor if you run it too lean. It's always better to start off too rich than too lean. A lean engine will cook itself. Not only does the lean mixture burn hotter, the fuel also carries the oil through the engine for lubrication, so if there's no fuel, there's no lubrication. Perform another basic sight and sound check to see where the engine stands. If it is still too lean, loosen the high speed needle. If it is too rich, tighten the high speed needle, eighth of a turn. Running your engine too lean is also a good way to burn out your glow plug. We'll discuss glow plugs in great detail in an upcoming segment of Red Cat Racing Pit Stop How To Video Series. For now, if the engine won't tune or even start, check the glow plug and replace if not working properly. Here's how to check your glow plug. First, clean any dirt out of the cooling head. Then remove the glow plug. Using needle nose pliers, clip an igniter like this one included with the optional Red Cat Racing Nitro Starter Kit onto the glow plug. The coils inside the plug should glow bright orange. You may need to use your hand for shade to better see the coils. If it glows bright, reinstall the plug. If not, install a new one. Once the high speed needle is set, it's time to set the low speed needle. This needle controls fuel mixture from idle to about half throttle. Before touching the needle, accelerate from idle while performing a basic sight and sound check. Was there plenty of smoke? Pay attention to how the engine sounds. Did it stutter or hesitate? Following the same guidelines as the high speed needle, set the low speed needle. If there was plenty of smoke and the engine stuttered some, it's running a little rich. Tighten the low speed needle in eighth turn intervals until optimal acceleration is achieved. You should then loosen the low speed needle one eighth turn and you now have the safe performance setting. Make sure there is plenty of smoke coming out of the exhaust through all stages of throttle. The vehicle will idle smoothly while sitting still. If your Red Cat racing vehicle wants to run away while idling, loosen the idle screw 1 8th turn until the vehicle idles sitting still. Having to apply brakes to keep from moving will wear out the clutch quickly. A burnt clutch can lead to serious problems, including clutch slip and stick. Sometimes the inside of the clutch bell will glaze over, making it difficult for the clutch to engage, which leads to an over revved engine, resulting in failure. Additionally, Clutch shoes can melt against the inside of the clutch bell, making it impossible to stop the vehicle without stalling the engine. A properly set idle screw will help to avoid these problems. It's a good idea to check these settings every time you run your nitro vehicle. A quick check for smoke and performance may be all that is needed. A nitro engine will run differently in different weather, such as a hot humid day, compared to a cool dry one. Well, 
This concludes the tuning your nitro engine segment of the Red Cat Racing Pit Stop How-To Video Series. You can find more information about the vehicles used in this segment at www.redcatracing.com. And don't forget to watch the other Pit Stop How-To videos brought to you by Red Cat Racing. I'm Matt LeMay, reminding you to have fun and don't forget your Red Cat.